everyone, it is Becca, and today I'm going to talk about SVG files. Um, I follow the, or like, I guess it's called, the fa Facebook group, um, Cricut Designs Place, I believe it's called, and someone had posted a question asking what are SVG files and how to use them, um, because now that uh, Cricut has come out with the Explore and Design Space, you can now US use SVG files and it's awesome and it's great but uh, a lot of people don't know what they are and what they're used for or how you use them or how you put them on your computer so I'm going to do a video showing you how to do that today I am on my favorite SVG website Miss Kate Cuttables right now um, she has a ton of different SVG files and they're really really cute so all SVGs are basically is cut files there are picture files that have already been made with all the layers for you so that when you upload it into Design Space, you just have to cut it just like you would a regular uh, Cricut project. That's literally all you have to do. So I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, purchasing an SVG. Some of them are free, some of them you have to buy. You can look on the internet, search up free SVG files, and there's a ton out there. Um, but uh, some of them, some of them don't work as well as others. Uh, so just kind of this one, I'm going to show you because I've used it, them a lot, and I know it works. So on the side, she has all, all different um, things. So here's her SVG collections where they're images together and bundled. And as you can see, you see this cute picture. Well, when you upload this into your design space, it will come with all the layers ready for you to cut. So she's got a 50 cent store. She's got a bunch of really cute images here. I'm going to do the freebie of the day because it's free. You don't have to purchase it. So you click the freebie of the day and I'm just going to click on it. And you just add it to cart. And then you would check out, which I'm not going to do on camera because then it will show all my personal information. Um, but then I will show you how you download it in a second. So I'm just showing you the bottom of the page, which is what will come up. Um, I have bought the freebie, which cost me zero dollars, and then it has this download button. Now I'm on Mozilla Firefox. Uh, I've used Google Chrome too and Internet Explorer. It all works the same. So you just click on it, and then it will come up that you want to open it with. Uh, you need a WinRAR. Archiver, that's the default that I have, and I'm going to click OK. And um, now it's here. Happy B. So then I will just go into my documents um, and I save mine under pictures, and then I have a Kate's Cuttables file. So all I do after that is I highlight, I put it into my folder. Now it's going to say that I already have this because I've already downloaded this. So I'm just going to replace the files so that you can see. Anyway, Happy Bee is right there. So here's my Happy Bee. I'll click on it. And this shows you the picture and there's a PDF on it. And this is the SVG file. See how it says SVG document? The one that has the Internet Explorer tab. So now that we have that, we're just going to go ahead and go into... Uh, design space. So I'm in design space and I'm on a new project. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click upload image. Then it's just going to take me to either basic upload or a vector upload. I'll just move this over a smidge. So um, basic upload is for like regular JPEG images and the vector upload it says right there to use for SVG files. So then I'll just click vector upload and I'm just going to click browse. Um, I was just on uh, this picnic app, so I'll go back to Kate's Cuttables, and then I'll find the B, Happy B, and then again, this one here is the SVG file, so I'll double click that, and here is the B with all the layers, and then you can tag it with whatever you want. Oops, sorry. So, if I want to take Happy B, um, and I want to take Kate Cuttables, then I can do that and so that every time I go to search for an image in the regular image search section it will come up if I put any of these tags in it will come up so I'm just going to click save image 
And then it is at the bottom with all my other SVGs that I've uploaded, and it's right here, the first one. So I'm just going to click it, insert the image, and then here it is. Here's the happy bee. Now, it's a little bit different than Cricut because um, it doesn't come all layered together. It comes apart for you, but if you wanted to put it together, you could. Um, and then here are all the layers for it that you need and all the pieces. So if I really wanted to, I could ungroup it and I could start um, putting all the pieces together if you kind of just want to use it like to design and, and see what you're doing. Um, and I could just keep going with that. But anyway, uh, when you're done, then you just click go like you, you would with a regular image when you're ready. And it's just going to load exactly like a regular image would. It's got all your different colors and your layers, just like the Cricut images. And it's ready to cut. And then you just click go. And that's it. It's ready to go and you can cut your image. So I'm just going to show you a couple more sites that I like to use. Um, to get SVG files. So here are some of my favorite SVG sites to go on. Uh, Little Scraps of Heaven is one and she's got a lot of really cute images as you can see. All different ones. So that's a really good one to go on. Um, and then uh, Miss Kate's I already showed you. My Scrap Chick is another one. And I believe that when I registered on this one, she gave me a coupon code to get um, a free set of easel card templates, which is really cool. So now I have a bunch of easel cards I can use in Design Space. Um, then there's Designs on Cloud9. Again, very cute. And she offers a weekly free file as well. So she's got two right now. Then Scrapping Bug Designs is another one with super, super cute images. Now, with this one, um, she has a ton of uh, cute images, and this is her little freebie right now. Um, and she's got all sorts of uh, what's new and um, things like that. And uh, she had, uh, oh, it looks like there's a 50% off. Uh, purchase, but she had a bunch of uh, retiring files that I purchased, and a few of them did not work in Design Space. And I will show you what those ones were. Um, the other thing to note with these is these cute little whites in the eye. You have to draw those on; those do not come cut. Um, but uh, so this is my scrapping bug design folder, and uh, this butterfly kisses which is this image, did not work properly. So I went into Inkscape and fixed that. Um, but I have not been able to fix this Do You Believe yet, um, which is super cute, but it's not working. It's coming up as a black blob in Design Space, and I can't do anything with it right now. So that one, and then this one, a little, just a little bit of pixie dust, is also not working for me um, so I just wanna don't get those files uh, she's I've emailed her and she's uh, looking into it she's not familiar with design space so she's gonna let me know what's going on but basically when I try and put these in design space they just come up as uh, black blobs and they should look like this but they it doesn't come out like that so um, I just want to warn you with hers, the new ones I have not had any problems with, it was the retiring ones, but just, if you're going to spend the money, make just try the freebies first to make sure they're going to work for you. Um, and then the very last one I wanted to share is Too Cute by Jessica, and she has a ton of freebies. So if you're just kind of wanting to try out this whole SVG thing, uh, really, really cute, cute freebies. I think I went and got every single one. And same thing, you just click buy now and then you'll have a download file. So I hope that this video was helpful and that um, you were able to kind of understand how to work SVGs and how to put them in design space. It really truly is very simple. Um, it just takes getting used to. So thank you so much uh, for watching and have a great day everybody. Bye.